the shower, Lisa, <laughs> the airplane. The ideas come in really strange places, but I think the main inspiration I get is also from watching YouTube. I think the more YouTube I watch in a variety of topics, the more inspiration I get. Because I think sometimes the best ideas come from two different ideas put together. Or say you're doing like lifestyle or beauty content, it's actually good to look at completely different content, like maybe gaming. Maybe they're doing something that you can learn and put into your content in beauty. So I think uh, consuming a wide variety of content, and not even just on YouTube, like can you get inspiration from a movie or maybe a painting or maybe a song? Uh, inspiration comes from everywhere. And I think the more you're like open to it, the more ideas will come. And I think the best ideas come from when I'm relaxed, not stressed. <laughs> um, when I have some coffee, that always helps. And yeah, I think just being open-minded and just letting everything come in and also like not judging the idea. I think if you judge the idea, a lot of the time you might close your mind off to a possibility of two things coming together and making something beautiful. Mm, okay, so out of all the content I created on YouTube, it has to be Empire. <laughs> I think it's an obvious question. Um, it, it's my biggest project, the most amount of like uh, love and commitment and my favorite thing in the whole world, everything, favorite person, like empire. <laughs> oh, okay, besides it, okay, cool. I'm like, do you want me to answer something else? Um, I was actually very proud of Wait, wait, let me think. Should I do a joke answer or should I do a serious answer? <laughs> okay, my, okay. Let, let me answer the most embarrassing video I've ever made. So I was, at one point, I really loved to edit and try editing different things and edit techniques to the point where I ran out of things to film. So I decided to film a sock lookbook because I thought people were very interested in my socks. I actually came to Korea because you guys have such cute socks, right? You have all these new designs, right? So I bought a whole bunch of socks from Korea and then like waved my feet around with nice music. It was very beautifully, it was beautiful. Uh, no one can see that anymore. It's hidden, private. No one can see that. But I thought it was a great idea at the time. Now it's very embarrassing. <laughs> But I think, you know, I think my first proudest video was when um, I did the twin concept. So on my channel, I do uh, Wendy versus Wenji. So there's two characters on my channel, Wenji, which is a kind of silly, happy girl. And then Wendy, who's a little bit more cool, a little bit more mean. So they're like two sides of I guess me, because you know you can be happy, but you can also be not happy as well. Uh, so the first time I made a twin video, I was very proud because you have to talk to nothing basically, and then make it seem like you're talking to yourself. Both very crazy things to do, but when you see it happening, it's just it was very satisfying to see like a scripted me talking to myself. Yeah. <laughs> I think you have to think of YouTube as maybe turning up at your friend's house and telling a story because that's what a lot of YouTube content is. You sharing a story or a point of view or an opinion or something you know to someone else uh, using the online platform. So with that in mind, the most important thing is to be consistent and turn up. I always tell people, it doesn't matter how many people watch. If you are serious about doing YouTube, you should be there. Just like if you want to make a friend, you should see them. And a lot of people online that are watching your videos have that connection with you. They almost feel like they're your friend. And I almost feel like I know my subscribers and then they know me. It's a really strange thing even though we've never met. But if you disappear and don't turn up and they're waiting for a video for you, I think that's not very responsible 
for you as a YouTuber and you're not going to have any long-term relationship with these people. So the point is building that long-term relationship with your, your audience and that means showing up and actually just making the video. Okay, so I guess my main wish to my fans and Wenji Corns and my audience is I hope that my content inspires you to do something that you're scared of, to reach the dreams that you've always wanted and to know that you can do it. And if I can be that voice to support you and be like, you can do it, I hope you can use my content and you know my videos to inspire you because you know what, that would make me the most happy if you achieve your dreams and you can do something you never believed because I was very lucky enough to do that myself. So I really wish that for everyone. So, and love you guys.